In this class, we are going to talk about what design and graphic design is. One of the most common mistakes that everyone does when they are trying to understand what is design is to think that design and art are the same thing or graphic design is a form of art, but it is not, definitely not. Art is much more of a relative thing. It's the way that an artist express their feelings, their emotions. It's a way to express thoughts and it is relative. That's the first and main difference between design and art. One of the most common mistakes that people do about what is design, they think that graphic design is to take everything and make it look good, look beautiful, but it's much more than this. Graphic design is problem solving, is communicating, is identifying. It's much more of a visual communication. It's all about sending a message and being understood. The audience, the people that are seeing your design must understand the same thing that you wanted them to understand. While in art, it's very different. The vision that I have of one piece of art may be completely different from the vision that you have. You may like it and I may not like it and vice versa. If a piece of graphic design is relative, it's not objective, it's because it's a bad design. It's not a matter of if you like it or not, it's if you understand it or not. Design is objective. In design, form follows function. In arts, it's the exact opposite. You first think of the aesthetic part and then you think about the function part. And in most cases, it doesn't even have a function. So this is the main difference. Art is not problem solving. Art is relative, design is objective. And I can prove that design is not art because many times we will have to communicate things that looks bad. So yeah, graphic design can be bad looking and still being good design. But when we are talking about art, if everyone that looks at it thinks it looks bad, it's probably bad art because they're not appreciating the aesthetics part of art that is actually everything. One of the things that makes this confusion very common between people is because graphic design and art uses the same tools. You can use draw in both, take photographs, you can make illustrations, you can make... Most of the tools used in arts are used in graphic design too. Bad art are the art that no one likes to consume, no one likes to look at, no one likes to hear. And bad design is when your audience doesn't understand what you are talking about or doesn't receive the right message. Because if you don't communicate properly, you are not solving the problems of your clients. And this is the most important part of graphic design. Now that you already know what design is, and I'm sorry if I'm repeating the word design a lot, it is because we are talking about what it is, and I will repeat this name many times throughout this course. In the next class, we are going to talk about good practices of graphic design.